this is not an issue that affects just, you know, a certain group of women in a certain area of the world. This is something that women universally struggle with. Every woman I know in Silicon Valley has a story of sexual harassment, microaggressions. And you're like, wow, this is, it feels like 90% of the people who live in San Francisco are white dudes in hoodies. Like, these companies can't be diverse because the people who live here to work at these companies aren't diverse. For a long time, no one would say that. And now people are saying that. You wanna, you wanna have more women in the workplace, hire women. There's plenty of qualified women. Stop judging them differently. Um, create environments. It's not just hiring women, it's making an environment so they stay. All male founding teams who have all male investor teams are sort of looking around and saying, wait, we need some diversity on our cap table. We need some diverse investors. We need women, we need minorities. And on one hand, you kind of want to say, of course you do. But on the other hand, it's exciting that that change is starting to happen. All of us are responsible for making sure that our environments are conducive to the health, mental health, physical health of the people who work in our companies. And that if we as a community of people and leadership at these companies uh, can't provide that for our workforce, then we're failing. The next company, the next Uber, the next Facebook, the next Twitter has probably not been started yet. And so if it gets started in 2018, if it gets started in 2019, and the founders of that company say, hey, we need a female founder, hey, we need a black investor, hey, we need more diversity, then I think that we can see real change in the next few years. We're not just women, we might be women of color, we might be gay, we might be, you know, we might like to knit. You know, everybody is a, a complex being and as we, as we start to, you, you've got to want that in your company. You want to have people that have all kinds of ways they look at the world. It's cool to be um, a feminist. It's cool to be respectful. Misogyny is not sexy. Misogyny is not something that you want to be a part of. And I think that the message we're trying to send is, let's all just respect one another. And you can be a successful tech company with big revenue to, you know, numbers and do something progressive. It's not one or the other. What's really going on here is who we allow a seat at the table. There are plenty of amazing women, there are plenty of amazing minorities, there are plenty of amazing people who are ready to step into these roles. They just need to be allowed to step into these roles. That if people want to say, well, this is trendy right now, women's empowerment is trendy right now, whoever those crazy people are who are saying that, stick around for a little bit. You're going to see change. that things are going to change for the better because we're not going backwards. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.